Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so this is a song. Today I'm, I'm going to show you how to play Disciple of Christ. This is the LDS 2024 youth theme. I usually do these in January, and this year I totally spaced it, and I've been meaning to do it all summer when I realized I hadn't done it. So sorry <laughs> about that. It's been a crazy busy summer. Schools just started a week or so ago for me. I teach at a high school. Um, I teach Spanish, not, not guitar, right? Anyway, so kind of crazy. But anyway, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords and the picking and the strumming and all the little tips that go with it. Okay, I'm going to play this once and then I will go back and show you how to do it. I've got a little bit of a cough going on and it's a little bit low for my voice. So <laughs> I'm going to do the best I can. Okay, here we go. mistakes. Oh, I think he's dead. I don't think he moved the whole song and that really hurts when they don't move around. Okay. All right. And I don't even think I needed him. He's just on there because of habit. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Capo starts on four and I'm going to show you how to do it and it's not going to take very long because it's actually not a very hard song. Okay. Capo's going to start on four. If you want to match them, I probably should have capoed up, but I wanted to match the, um, the video. All right. Let's see. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an E minor, but we're going to put our um, ring finger on the second string third fret and our pinky on the first string third fret. Technically, we don't even play the first string, but if you bump it or if you, if you, if you accidentally hit it, it would clash. 
So but if you've got that guy on there, if you accidentally bumped it, it's going to still sound okay with any of these chords if your pinky is on. So that's why I put them on. But he never comes off, and neither does your ring, which is kind of tough. Okay, so basically here is going to be your, you're going to play like an E minor, okay, with those two, and then you're going to have your pinky and your ring down there, so you're going to have this pattern. Let's see. See, I just bumped one. Okay, then my second chord is going to be a C, it's called a C add nine, okay, I'm going to, take these and move this over so now, now he's on the fifth string third fret my pointer is on the fourth string second fret these guys haven't moved pinky ring huh. okay and now your bass note is five so the first time on the e minor i went six two no six three four two pause three four it should be i keep hitting two but it should be three four three six three four two three four three and i do have that typed up correctly so you can follow that pattern. Then you're going to jump over to the top half of a C, but you're going to have those two, and these two guys are still there. Bass note is now five, so now you're going to go five, three, four, two, pause, three, four, two. Okay, this is the intro, and then you're going to reach up and grab instead of five and four, now you're going to reach up and grab six and five on the third fret and the second fret okay so it's kind of the top half of a G it is a G now you've got a G what I call a G5 instead of a G like this with that second string I kind of have my ring up right so it's kind of a hollow G it's kind of a G I call it a G5 because I'm adding the fifth okay all right so now on this one I'm gonna go bass three four two pause three four two pause three four two pause Oh yeah, bass three four two three four two three four three, and then you're gonna go. No no no. So that's not very good. You're gonna hit five five hammer and pull him back off. Okay, kind of like that. It's hard because this guy wants to lay down on the job and hit the fifth string, but he can't. He's he can't if necessary take him off. I should be hitting the third. Six, four, three, two, three, four, three. Then go to your C, add nine. Five, three, four, two, pause, three, four, three. Then go to your G5. Six, three, four, two, pause, three, four, two, pause, three, four, three. Five, hit five. Or five, hit pull. Okay, then you do that again. So that is your intro, and that's most of the song. Okay, so now I'm going to go through it doing that pick. Okay, so go back and watch it again or practice it till you've got it. Here we go. No, no, no. E minor, seven. So this is an E minor seven, technically. Okay, because I've got that. I've got that seven. But I've got it on the second string. Okay, here we go. Six. Add nine, grab five as your bass note. Out in the strong winds. Then go to six. Come. That's so pretty. Okay, back to E minor. I will lift my. Go to C add nine. Eyes to the rising. Go to G five. Sun. Okay, and you have to do that while you're singing a clashing note. He he is the, he, he is the, okay, go back to your minor, Prince of Peace, he steadies my soul. Okay, now we have a D4, which we haven't done. So basically, you're going to keep these guys here, but you're going to split. Your pointer's going to grab the sixth string, second fret, and your tall man's going to grab the third string, second fret. And this is kind of a, so if I were to do a D like this, so a lot of people play it like this, except when you're doing that, you could, I suppose, but you've already got these two guys on here, and you're going from here, so it's just really easy to split those two. Just kind of go from your G or your C, and then you're going to split. Pointer up, ring tall man down, and then keep your ring in your pinky. So, so, so bass note is going to be six. Okay, he, let me go back. He is the prince. So 
that's what that is. 6231, no, 6342, 342, okay? I am his hands. And C add nine, that's five is your base note. Eight, G five, six is your base note. The whole room will know. Then go to D four. You can either do a strum or and try to avoid one if you can't. Or you can just pluck everybody. Okay, now they're still picking in the video, but they also have drums and a piano and a keyboard and a bass and all that kind of stuff. I just have my, so I didn't want to pick the whole song because that it can get a little boring. I wanted to mix it up. So I'm gonna strum the chorus, okay? And you really do need one on for the chorus. If you're gonna strum, you gotta have one, otherwise it is gonna clash. Okay, so the strum that I'm doing is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, or down, down, up up, down, up, or a combination, whatever you feel at that particular set of words, because sometimes one strum matches the rhythm better and sometimes the other strum matches. So it's gonna kind of be a, a mixture. But down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, or down, down, up, up, down, up. They both work really well for the chorus. Okay, here we go. go like this because you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you think they're going to do, but they don't. They go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so then they kind of, so they hold that G for six counts and then they go one, two, I just counted eight, so that would be seven, eight. Do you get it? They hold the G. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Or five, I should have counted. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. If I were doing eights, that's, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight. That's what I kind of was thinking. Then you're going to repeat it again. They do that a lot. So watch for them because I've got, and, and so I have it. What I normally do is I don't put the chord until you're going to switch but I put it again to make you remember, don't change yet, because your body wants to change. You're doing four beats, four beats, or eight, however you want to count it up. Four beats, four beats, and four beats, and you think you're gonna change, but you're not. So I put the G5 twice in a row so that you don't get psyched out, and then I put the D4, D sus4, I just put four, over the, the syllable that you actually are gonna change on. So that is really helpful, because when I see that, it's like, oh yeah, Hold it, don't change yet. Okay, so here we go. Let me go back to that chorus. Here we go. Do you hear that? Do that again. He See how that only gets two beats at the end? Okay, E minor seventh. For six.
also twice as long as you think they are, not twice, but extra long. Okay, and then at the end, at the end of each line, they don't hold the G for six counts, and then the D minor, uh, the D4 twice, they do four and four, okay? So where, where it doesn't say to stay longer, just at the end of those woes, don't stay longer, okay? Now we're back to the picking. I'm all the way down here at the second to last little chunk. Okay, let me back it up. Ready? Okay, try it again. <coughs> I'm a disciple of Christ. I will never leave him. He is the truth and the light. He's the strength in my weakness. Okay, now they're gonna now I'm gonna start strumming because they kind of pick up the volume there and it works really well. It's just guitar you're going to pick. And then you do one strum on G5. And I try not to really hit that one very much at all. If I do, it's soft. I try to have this be my highest note. It's not the end of the world if you hit the one, but I'm not hearing it from them, so there you go. Okay, my pinky needs surgery now. All right. <laughs> okay. So this is Disciple of Christ. Okay, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print up the words with the chords and all the fun little details in there. Hopefully that will help you. And um, I hope you enjoyed that song. It's not too hard and it's beautiful. I just love the words. Okay, for more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.